Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can update your flying plan by adding the approach which is assigned to you by the ATC. So it's relatively easy. What you need to do is go to the flight plan option. In this case, I already loaded the flight plan. But what you need to do to make sure that you loaded the flight plan is selecting the destination. In that case, select the L1 arrival button. And in the L1 arrival button, you will find multiple options. This is the approach which is currently being selected but these are the approaches which are currently available. That's, I would say, being figured out automatically by selecting the runway which you select to, uh, or which you've been assigned to, to land. In this case, I've been assigned ILS-02 Zulu. What you will see is that it automatically selects the VIA option, which is cool because then I don't need to select the VIAs, right? There are some other st standard terminal approach routes like uh, this one. That's L, uh, Alpha Lima Bravo Echo 1 Whiskey. And there's the option to say, okay, hey, I won't, don't want to have any transition or any uh, uh, star available. So, for example, if I don't want to fly via Totski, but I simply want to fly direct, then I can select the option no star. But normally you are assigned a star approach. So once you've done that, you click the option insert temporarily flight plan. That will directly update the flight plan. In some scenarios, what will happen is that the aircraft will start to turn back, right? Uh, that's, I would say, something which is probably known to you if you use Flight Simulator for a longer time, because it happens to most of the aircrafts. In those scenarios, there's only one option, and I will show you that option in a few seconds. Because what we need to do is, in that case, we need to bypass the, that wait point. However, in the Concorde, it works a little bit different compared to what you expect. So what you need to do is you need to go to uh, Direct. And then you can either specify the, uh, let's say, waypoint which you want to fly to. Right? So if I imagine that I want to fly to Totki, I can use these buttons uh, to specify it. Remember that you need to click twice to get to the letters uh, and uh, pressing it here and then you press the option waypoint in that case what will happen is that it will update the waypoint however normally it should do that so let me try again oh. now i need to do it correctly select dot key and then it will update the waypoint and then i can select temporarily direct however what this will do is it will replace the complete flight plan right so it will replace the previous one and will replace it however it keeps in mind the previous ones so that's good because in this case you, what you will see is that it still has the uh, standard terminal approach route which we pre-selected uh, in flight simulator so the buttons are different but the result is eventually the same so what do you need to do in most cases you will need to configure the next waypoint which is part of the standard terminal approach route that will at least prevent that the aircraft will start turning back and that also happened to me because i was flying initially here then i got the ter standard terminal approach route well, approximately here and then it flew back to the previous waypoint however using this option you can prevent it so a quick repetition you select the flight plan option you select the destination you select the arrival there you select the approaches which are available and those are assigned by atc then once you've done that you have the option to uh, select insert uh, temporarily route six then we'll update the flight plan i will not do it again once you've done that make sure that you uh make sure that you use the direct option to reconfigure the flight plan again but then select the first point of the standard terminal approach route as the direct option by using this option pushing in the numbers or the letters in this case then select waypoint and then insert the waypoint again right that will make sure that it will use it in this case you can also see that the flight waypoint is already here so what you can do is instead of typing it in here you can select it from here and then it will automatically add it to the uh, waypoint list however in some scenarios you will see that it has not been added in that case you will need to use these buttons over here 
So once you've done, you're all set up and you can, I would say, fly to your destination. Uh, hopefully it will follow the flight plan because you can see something weird happens as, <laughs> as we speak. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to put them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.